This week's Mind Espresso is about starting with why from the book Start With Why by Simon Sinek and his famed Golden Circle. Now, this is the famed Golden Circle, and Simon will tell you right up front, he didn't really invent anything new. He just is able to help us design a frame to help us think about integrating our why with our how and our what. And he said most leaders and most people are walking around disconnected from their whys and they're leading with their what's. Here's what I do. Here's what my company does. Here are the products and services and here's how we do it. Here's how I do do things differently. Don't you want to be my friend? Don't you want to buy my product? But often they're disconnected with our underlying why, our purpose, the impact that we have in the world. And he said that effective charismatic leaders know that the why is what we attach to. The why is the emotional piece. And as behavioral economists will tell you, we are emotional decision-making creatures. We are not fact-based creatures. And that the what and the how apply to logic, while the why goes directly to emotions. Jonathan Haidt described this in terms of an elephant and a rider. The elephant is the emotion. And the rider is the logic. Now, if the elephant wants to go that way and our rider wants to go this way, which way are they both going? And if there's not integration, you have this constant pull going on, right? There's, there's this disconnect. Now, imagine if the elephant and the rider both want to go in the same direction at the same time. Now they can steer. The rider can look out for the elephant. The elephant can take us in the right direction. It's the disconnect between the logic in the emotion that the golden circle ultimately gets to. And Simon would argue, this is a great way to communicate. Let's look at his megaphone. The megaphone starts at the very beginning with the why. Most people leave with the what. Here's what we do. Here's how we're different. But you communicate with the why. Here's the impact we have in the world. And here's how we uniquely make that impact. And ultimately, this is the great stuff we create, right? different message than here's my product and here are my features or the person who's trying to show you how great they are and the stuff that they're doing. But you're drawn to the person who's connected to a higher purpose. And he also talks about this from an organizational leadership perspective. At the top of the organization, purpose binds us all. And then the what's get spread out along the bottom and the how is that middle ground about how we knit the why and the what together. Now, I can give you a couple of examples about this and why I'm so passionate about this. Because if I work with a company and they're struggling, I can almost always look at the processes, the systems that they're running, and find that they have a disconnected what, how, and why. Let, let me give you a perfect example, performance management. Originally, performance management was about helping people perform better. That was it. It was very simple in its, in its conception. But then it got conflated with ratings and hiring and firing. And suddenly the what did not align with the original how. In fact, you know, studies have shown that performance management often has a negative impact on performance. And so that's a huge disconnect between the why, the how, and the what. So, so what happened here? Well, we started changing the what without identifying how that impacts the why. And so performance management got, what's the right word? It, it, it got, uh, it, it, it came out of alignment. I want to use a word that, that I can't use here. And what's happened is it makes the process so disconnected and everybody knows it, right? Old performance management done in the way it's been done for the 10 years has not been a driver of performance. And most people think it's a burden, right? So the why and, and the what and the how all got disconnected. How about in your personal life? Tony Robbins uses the example of someone who has a what. What do you want, right? I want a car. Why do you want a new car? Well, every time I get my old car, I don't feel so good. Well, why not? Well, I've been feeling down lately and the car just kind of reinforces that. Oh, why are you feeling down lately? Well, I've been stressed out at work and, you know, I've been stressed out at home. He's like, oh, you've been stressed out. Why is that? Well, you know, I took out a little bit of a new role, but also my eating habits started getting bad. And, oh, really? What, why did that happen? Well, you know, I started getting lazy. I stopped going to the gym and then I started to eat to compensate and then I started losing track of my schedule. He's like... Oh, all right, so you don't need a car, you need a gym membership, right? And, and that's the connection. Oftentimes as humans, we're so worried about the, what I need this, and that, but we don't dial it back to what is the underlying purpose that I need that thing for? Or what is my underlying purpose to impact the world? Or what is my company's underlying purpose? And when we communicate with the why and then the how and the what, we attach people to us emotionally. So Simon advises that we get clarity around our why, that we get consistency 
and, and diligence and discipline around our how, and ultimately that leads to the what. And as we connect these together, that is what is known as integration, right? And an integrated person, the way they act, the way they do things, the things that they accomplish, all align with their why. And we know those people, right? And we're attracted to those people and they're charismatic because we can connect to them because that's the human element. The why is ultimately the human connection. So to dial this all back, start with why. Most leaders actually start from the outside in. They start with the what, and they talk about the how, and they say, follow me, buy my product. Or the person who talks about themselves, here's what I do, here's how I do it. Aren't I great? Don't you want to be my friend? But what ultimately connects us is the underlying why, and to get clarity on the underlying why, because that is going to unite the rider and the elephant. And that is this week's Mind Espresso.